Welcome back to Miniature Wargaming Warriors. My name is Ken. I'm going to show you today how I've been painting some medieval miniatures. This is all very new to me, so I thought I would stick a video up because people might want to know how I'm doing it, and I think I've got the technique down pretty well, and these guys are quite quick to paint. First thing you want to do is you want to prime your model. I'm using Citadel's Lead Belcher uh, spray primer in their can. Uh, it's just for ease of use, really. Um, it goes over the model and it also gives me my first base coat. So well, now that that's done, I'm going to go over the whole miniature with a dark tone wash from the Army Painter. Literally, you want to get this all over the miniature, all in like the little recesses. What this is going to do, obviously, it's going to tone down the brightness from that lead belcher. Miniature I'm using today is one of the Perry miniatures. Um, it's from their English Army range uh, for their medievals, like their Agincourt stuff. It's quite nice actually to be able to do, be doing something a little bit different than um, what I'm used to. This, like I say, this is all new to me and uh, I'm pretty happy with the results I've got so far and this this dark tone does sit very quite like very nice in the actual recesses for the miniature just make sure to get the legs okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give that time to dry completely so probably up to about an hour and uh, then I'll come back and do the next step okay now that that's had about an hour to dry you can see all the difference here in the recesses of where the uh, shade has had its chance to do its thing and it's done it really well, it's made it all dark and it's made the armour actually look like armour which is really nice. So now what I want to do is I want to get that tone back up and the way I'm going to do that is another nice easy technique and that is dry brushing. So for you who don't know what dry brushing is, basically you take a wet paint um, for this I'm using Army Painter and it is going to be plate mail metal and I'm just going to take a bit on a dry brush and then dab the paper until I barely get anything on it and then get the get the mini and just give it a give it a going over just to bring it out so it's brightening up and I just want to catch all like the edge work just like this okay and I'm gonna just do that all over the miniature and then come back for the next step right that's already starting to look very bright very nice and you still got the darker recessed areas there now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna pick out all any uh, all and every leather strap that's actually on the model so you have got some here on the back of the legs uh, you might have some under the arms here and I'm basically going to go over them with a brown. For this I'm going to use the Vallejo flat brown but what I am doing with these miniatures and I've spoken to uh, Seventh Son Martin also Dom and Stee about this is instead of doing them all uniform with every miniature having say flat brown for those straps I'm going to use a variety of browns so I'm going to still make sure they're quite dark browns but different tones so I've got the army painter browns, um, I've got all of those quite luckily, I've got the actual army paint complete set so I'm quite set like that. Um, so I'm going to use, for this miniature I'm going to use the flat brown but with others I might decide to use leather brown, fur brown or you've got oak brown so just any sort of dark brown because we're going to stick a wash over it anyway uh, just to tone it down a bit. But I'm going to do these straps now. So you've got one just there, another one just above it. So I'm going to finish doing all these and then I shall be back for the next step. You can see all the browns, also got under the arms just up here as well and just that's around some around there. So that's all like the leather straps. This will be a metal gold strap in a bit, but that's all the straps. And now what I'm going to do is, because these are English, and in the period St. George was massive, so he, you know, um, I'm gonna do like a St. George's sort of cross on his breastplate here. 
So, sorry if I got that name right, but I think that's a breastplate. I'm pretty sure it is, but there we go. So, I'm going to use a Brain Matter Beige. The reason I'm going to use that and not a direct white, like matte white from the Army Painter, is because off whites seem to sit better on colours and they're not as translucent. So, I'm going to go with Brain Matter Beige, and you'll see when I paint this on in a second. You know, I'm, I'm going to have to do two, two thin coats on it because I've watered, the, watered it down, but you can see that that paint is going to sit better than if I went straight in with white you can see already so I'm just going to paint this up now get the two thin coats on and I shall be back after that and uh, make sure to do the back as well so I shall see you in a second okay then now that that's had two thin coats I'm going to now do the St George's Cross, just in the centre there. We've got a nice uh, pointed uh, brush for this. And I'm going to use pure red from the Army Painter. reason for this, I think it's quite a nice red, but you want to just aim for the middle point there. So you can see just on the brush plate. And you want to just gently form a line going down like that and then a line across okay so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna make sure to thicken it up a little bit and then I shall come back once it's done okay now the uh, cross for St George is done I think it's really nice actually, I think it's turned out quite nice. If you do mess up or anything you can always go with uh, Brain Matter Beige and start it again. So it's not really that much of a drama. But you can see here he's got two guards here. They're designed to when he's got his arms up to protect like the armpits because they've got a lighter armour underneath. And because I'm using um, for my army I'm using uh, John Mowbray. Mowbray. Um, get some lovely information um, from the Perry's kit for this so he uses like a blue and a, and a yellow for his colors for his distinct colors for his unit so yeah he's the Earl of, Earl of Lottenham and uh, later became the Duke of Norfolk so he uses blue and yellow so if all my stuff links together I'm gonna do one of these blue and the other one yellow. So I think this right hand one here is the yellow because that's the side it is, and that one will be the blue. It's just to identify people obviously on the battlefield. Um, if you've got this big old slab of cross St. George on your chest anyway, you're gonna be English. So I'm just gonna do those now. So yellow I'm gonna be using is from the Army Painter, and that's Fire Lizard. This is, in all fairness, is probably going to take three or four coats because yellow is very translucent. So I shall get that done and I will also get the blue done, which is crystal blue. And again, I'm using different shades of yellow uh, and different shades of blue all on the different models. It's just to bring it together. So that's the yellow and then I'll get the blue and then I'll see you after I've done that. Right, so the next colour is going to be gold. I'm using a bright gold from the Army Painter. I'm going to do the belt. I'm also going to do stuff on his sword here and also some stuff on his helmet and I might pick out a few other little details as well so I'll get cracking with the gold and then after that we'll come back don't worry too much if you get some of the gold on some of the silver here you can use a wet brush or and just go in and just touch it up because the the metallic stuff seems to keep wet for quite a while so yep yeah, I will see you in a second Okay, now the gold's done. Just going to concentrate on the sword a little bit here. We're near enough finished now. So I'm just going to edge highlight the sword just because I want to make it stop. And I'm going to using shining silver for this. So trick is side of the brush. Just along there. So if I can get the middle. Go for the side there as well. It's basically just to give the sword something a bit different. 
compared to the armor. There's that. Okay, the, literally all that's left now is to stick a couple of washes. So washes I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use Agrax Earthshade uh, from Citadel to go all over like the different color parts. So the blue, the yellow, uh, the brown. Um, that's gonna get all Agrax treatment. And any of the like gold that I've painted on is going to get a non oil wash so I will do that and then I shall show you the completed miniature once it's finished right okay here is the okay here is the completed miniature now he's dry and he's based as well done it on a base of two I've done this for all my men at arms in this period I've painted up a second guy as well and um, to go on the base I've used some of Luke uh, APS is so Geek Gaming's patchy planes for the actual basing. Uh, start that down with some PVA glue, and then I've used some Boomtown Metals uh, tufts, and they're the small summer flower ones in red. And uh, yeah, they're really nice actually. Uh, I'm very happy with how the models turned out. I'll just show you a few more uh, miniatures I've already done for the medieval range. Okay, so this is all of my men at arms that I've done so far. You see I've made four bases up. Really happy of how these are getting along quite nicely. Uh, I've done a banner uh, for John, Sir John Mulberry. Uh, it's probably Mulberry actually, Sir John Mulberry. Um, basically to do that, a bit of tinfoil inside there, some super glue that's rock hard now. Uh, just to make it give it a bit more effect it's paper obviously. I've put stuck a couple of washes over it as well and trimmed off all the edges. I'm very happy with that one. Uh, you can see the two two different colours that I was going on about. So the the blue and the yellow, especially on this piece here, the blue and the yellow on that. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm very happy so far. Everything's really coming together, and I'm quite excited about doing this period. And I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. And if you want to subscribe, please feel free to do so. And I'll see you again in the next one. Thanks now. Bye.